Hey, it's Aaron from MobileReviewsA.ca and today we are going to do the review for the Thule Atmos X3 case for the iPhone 5 and the 5S. And just to warn you, I think this is the perfect slim iPhone 5 5S case ever made. The Thule Atmos X3 adds very little bulk and weight to your iPhone case, yet still providing incredible protection for such a slim, tiny case. You can drop it from a height of 6.6 .6 feet and your phone's going to be okay in this case. Getting to your buttons on your iPhone through this case is also, I just don't know what they did, but it, it, it just, it feel really nice. This case was sent to us by Thule for review, so we are going to give it away to you guys. Um, this case was brought to our attention by Matus Bowman, which is pretty awesome. Thank you, Matus, for uh, doing that for me. Find out how you can get this case for free. I'll ship it to you um, at the end of this video. Based on our time with this case, we gave it a score. Five A's out of five. This is a magnificent, amazing, beautiful, beautiful iPhone slim case. Real usage. Real reviews. Mobile reviews, A. Eh? .ca. At Mobile Reviews, all our reviews are actually based on real users. So we actually try to use something for a period of time um, before we actually rate them. With the Thule Atmos X3, this was my primary case while going on vacation. And they said you can drop it from 6.6 .6 feet, so we did. The Thule Atmos X3 is one of the slimmest cases that we've seen for the 5 and the 5S and still provides an incredible amount of protection. I'm not quite sure what Thule used in the construction of this case, but similar cases that provide the same amount of drop protection will easily be twice as thick as the Thule Atmos X3. This case is even slimmer than Spec's candy shell case, as well as one of our other favorite slim cases, the Lunatic Seismic. One of the things that we pay attention to is how the case overlaps the screen of the iPhone. Now, now the Thule case actually butts up against the edge of the glass of the case. Now the spec candy shell case does that as well, but if you were to press on the corner, you actually force the lip over the edge of the iPhone. Now this doesn't happen on the Thule X3 because it's very, very rigid, and so the edge of the case isn't going to peel your screen protector off. Now, in terms of protection, yes, we can drop it, but I will mention that Thule doesn't actually rate it, or I couldn't find any uh, rating specific to a mil spec for the shock protection. So it's, that's just something I've noticed. In terms of screen protection, there's a minimum amount of clearance between the iPhone touchscreen and the edge of the case. Now, it's probably an eighth of an inch. You can still put your iPhone face first on your table, and the table is not going to reach your touchscreen. Getting to your iPhone, again, very nice. The cutouts, like, it doesn't block anything out. If you've got headphones that are larger than the Apple EarPods, you're going to have a bit of trouble using it with this case because it's the Apple the headphone jack is fitted very well to Apple earpods and maybe nothing larger this is my favorite case like it's got a perfect blend of rubber and hard plastic so it's not too grippy but if you're putting on a table the grippy parts actually keep it on the table so it doesn't slide off like I just I took it out of the package when it first came and I was just really blown away by the build quality by just how nice this case actually is I don't I don't think I've been this enthralled with an iPhone case, which is kind of weird. If this is the first time you're watching one of our videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. We put out content two to three times a week. Um, product reviews, news, tips, and tricks. So lots of different things for you to uh, peruse while subscribed to this channel. So if you want this case, I'm gonna make it very simple. You're gonna go to Twitter, you're gonna send me a tweet, you're gonna tell me why you want this case. I've included those very simple instructions on my website. Um, I'll have this nice pretty button for you to tweet me at. Um, I wanna make the turnaround for this contest very, very quick. Today's October 1st, the draw is gonna end October 3rd. I'm gonna announce on October 4th. So, good luck. I'm Aaron the Ho. Um, Find us on Google Plus. Actually, I'm not going to mention Google Plus first. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus because I don't know who Google Plus is being targeted to.